Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to take some time, do a little review and a little comparison of this cool little backpack I just got a couple weeks ago. It is from, let's see if you guys can see this, from Frost River. So they're based out of Duluth, Minnesota. I believe that's where they manufacture everything. And they do um, wax canvas bags and uh, packs and all kinds of you know outdoor gear. Um, very traditional. Uh, but really cool stuff. Uh, for the longest time, I always thought this kind of stuff uh, was just antiquated and outdated, and I always had more modern uh, nylon equipment, stuff like that. Uh, but the more I got into upland bird hunting, and in particular grouse hunting, the more I just got into kind of the, the heritage and traditional outdoor stuff, and really fell in love with it. Um, so when I stopped in there and saw uh, what they had, I I was like, I got to get some of this stuff. It's fantastic. Um, so this is their High Falls Day Pack. Um, pretty small backpack. You can see the width on that. Um, it sits really close to the body. It's nice and narrow. Um, the straps are plenty comfortable enough. And the pack itself is fairly small. So you got this outside pocket right here. I usually throw my fire kit in there. So that's the SE fire kit, if you guys can see that. And then that's the striker right there. And then on the inside, when you open this up, so there's the inside of the pack. So here's uh, my trauma kit that I always take with me if I'm out in the woods or um, otherwise that stays in my car as well. And then uh, here's a, just a, my Mora knife right here, um, another great, uh, budget-friendly knife for the outdoors. So the inside of the pack is pretty simple, uh, but it does have this this flap right here that you could probably put a hydration bladder in. They do not have, um, there's no hole up top here like on um, some newer style packs where you'd feed a hose through, uh, but you could just feed it out the top zipper when you zip it up. So um, I did take this bag on a hike a couple of weeks ago and it did just fine. Uh, like I said, I had basically my trauma kit, some water, and some snacks in here. Uh, there it is, kind of squished down. And uh, the bag did just fine. This wax canvas is super durable, heavy duty, uh, and it looks fantastic. And the more you use it, the more you're going to get kind of this patina on it. You know, if you see like these marks and stuff, these creases, um, all this stuff in here, and it'll start to look... A little bit weathered but it gives it a great um, character and personality so there's the inside of the straps you can see those are the tan canvas orange and then kind of a greenish um, canvas they had this bag in a couple of different colors they had it in uh, green and tan and then this green and orange and uh, green and red which they said was a limited edition for valentine's day uh, but I really like this orange since I do a lot of hunting. I don't know that I'll take this pack hunting, but I kind of like the, the orange look there with the green. Um, here's a little toiletry bag I got from them as well. You guys can see that. So that's just to travel with. Got some toiletries in there, all the essentials. Um, but that's the other tan that they had. So the other bag was this green with this tan. Uh, and it was a great combo as well. Uh, but I did want to compare this bag in size wise to my other bag that I usually hike with. And so I'll set that one over here. All right, so the size comparison between the Mystery Ranch uh, Day Pack, the Frost River High Falls Day Pack. You can see the Frost River is definitely going to be smaller. It's also a lot thinner. Now, this is pretty flat right now, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't fill out a whole lot, uh, which is nice if you want to keep it simple and keep keep the weight close to your body. That's kind of nice. The Mystery Ranch, um, as you can see, will definitely fill out a lot more. Uh, and it, it becomes, when you do fill it, it becomes more of a cylinder. It kind of is, is rounded on the front here, which is a nice feature. Keeps everything close to the body still. Um, and it does have, it's not really a frame, but it's like a, a plastic insert in here and it's padded. So this one will obviously not carry as much as this, uh, but for short day trips or depending on the time of year and the gear that I'm taking, this is a fantastic option. Or if you're just out and about around the city, that kind of thing. 
Uh, but the Mystery Ranch is a fantastic pack. I do love this one. I'll go over that real quick with you. So they got their tri-zip right here, which is a cool feature. And you can zip this whole thing open and get to all the inside stuff. This is a great feature. If you have something at the bottom of your pack that you want to get to without dumping the whole thing out, you can just open it up. And actually, one time carrying this on the plane through TSA, you know, I got randomly selected. So they said, hey, empty your whole bag out. So I just opened it up like this. They could see everything on the inside and they swabbed it for explosives or whatever they do. Um, but that's a nice feature. It does not have a hydration bladder pocket, but it does have a little hook right here. Uh, most hydration bladders have a little hook at the top, so you can suspend that right through here. And then it's got the top pocket uh, up here for small items and easy access. And then it also does have uh, a, a, an opening right here from the main compartment. So if you're running a hydration bladder, that's where you would put the hose through. So I do love this Mystery Ranch pack. It's very comfortable, very functional, uh, absolutely fantastic. I can't say enough good things about them. I've got two of their packs, this one and a, a three-day pack, which is considerably bigger. But um, so I just wanted to do that comparison and show you guys the size difference. You know, so, but I think this one will probably turn into kind of my everyday stuff, maybe a uh, carry-on bag, that kind of thing for light items. Uh, but I really do, I love this, this wax canvas. It looks fantastic. And, you know, and after, after seeing all the stuff they had at their shop and really falling in love with this classic look of the wax canvas, I ended up... I ordered a bunch of wax canvas right here. You can see it's basically the same color green and the same color orange because uh, I like that color combination. I'm having this all sent to a guy that does uh, clothing and he usually does small batches of flannel shirts and other stuff. But I'm going to have him uh, turn this into a custom made hunting jacket for me. So I'm excited about that. Uh, it'll, it'll be this same color and it'll have a removable game pouch on the back and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. I'm going to send that off to a Monday, but who knows when I'll get it back because that kind of thing does take a while. So anyways, that's kind of the overview of the Frost River High Falls pack. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.